I'm Peter Sullivan. This is a message for the gun community, especially for the students. I'm your neighbor. I live in Los Altos right over the bike path. We're all disturbed by what's going on with the suicide cluster and everyone's taken a lot of actions, but not a lot of them have been focused on root cause, right? There is a root cause factor that no one's been considering or paying attention to, and that is wireless radiation or microwave radiation from cell towers. Okay, there's, the U.S. has the highest limits in the world. The FCC uh, also does not even enforce them. So the Wall Street Journal found that one in 10 cell towers was over the FCC limit. It's not being enforced, okay? And the highest cell tower that I've ever measured in five years is right behind your math building. It maxed out my meter 50 yards away. So you guys are getting hammered with microwaves thousands of times higher than my kids at Los Altos High School, and it's really not fair. I've told your administrators, I've told your congressperson, no one's taken action. So it's gonna be up to you to take action to protect yourself. Okay, so to protect yourself, you gotta know what the symptoms are to overexposure. There's a lot of variations. There's a lot of genetic differences and physiology differences. Everyone's gonna be impacted by microwave exposure, but not everyone's gonna be overloaded, okay? So what you wanna start paying attention to is start paying attention to symptoms of overload. So most common symptoms, sleep uh, disruption, so insomnia, headaches, ear ringing, uh, fatigue, confusion, depression, anxiety, uh, and attention problems, like kind of an ADHD sort of thing. So those are the primary symptoms. We know the mechanism, underlying mechanism of action. We didn't know this before, but now we know that the voltage-regulated calcium channels are being disrupted by pulse, pulses from microwaves, and it's letting in too much calcium and creating more inflammation. And that's fundamentally the mechanism, and that causes a whole host of issues going down. So I've been in a situation like you have been in a, um, near an Air Force base that was microwaving us all the time, and it took me years to figure it out. Um, so I'm going to share my experiences. Number one, stay out of the area as much as possible. So that means stay away from the math building as much as possible. Get in, do your class, and get out. Don't linger there. Uh, stay away from the track football area and the pool area. Just minimize your time in there, and that will really help. That's probably the best thing you can do is minimize your exposure. Not Your entire campus is not a suicide cluster. It's just that back area that's going to really overload you. Okay. Number two, you can start to um, minimize your personal exposure. You actually get a lot of microwaves from your own phone, right? So you're carrying that usually in your pocket. So don't put your phone near your head and don't carry your phone in your pocket or in your bra or in your, you know, anywhere on you. Put your phone in your backpack. And if you want, you can put it in airplane mode here and there, especially when you're in class, right? Because you're not gonna be taking calls anyway. So keep your, minimize your exposure to your phone. At night, it's really important to make sure you sleep well. Sleep is fundamental to not only your performance as a student and as an athlete, but to, it's fundamental to your mental health. And when you sleep well, that will give you the best resistance possible to this. Uh, okay, so at night, you can minimize your exposures to wireless radiation by asking your parents to turn off the Wi-Fi, the cordless phone base station, and if you have a younger child, a baby monitor. So those are three sources of constant wireless radiation that don't need to be on and not at night and are going to interfere with your sleep and your melatonin production. All right. So if you're getting to a point where you're really confused and you're not feeling good, get away to nature. Also ask for help. So go take, get a friend or a parent or a guardian or someone and then go for a walk, go for a hike far away from all this stuff and leave your cell phone behind and just keep walking until you get centered again. It'll really help. I have been through this sort of confusion before and it's a lot of it a lot of it is from the microwave exposure and if you just let it drift away the clarity returns okay i can assure you of that so just have to be patient through that period of real confusion and despair you'll get through it thanks for watching this video